This unit is called culture of safety. Now you might be wondering what that means, culture of safety, and I'll get to the culture part near the end of this video, but for now we'll talk about what safety means. Now you've probably heard a lot about safety in your life. Safety basically means doing things so you don't get hurt. When we're talking about safety in this unit though, I want you to think of a big picture of safety. So first, when people hear safety, they think physical safety. So you don't want to get cut or broken bones, stuff like that. But I also want you to think of emotional safety and mental safety. So think of that big picture when we're thinking about safety. I'm going to go through some examples of different areas that may or may not be a part of your life when you can think about different kinds of safety. The first one, I think is part of just about everybody's life. Just about everybody either drives or has somebody else drive them. I put a picture of a car here, think car truck, because people in this class probably are either working on their driver's license or already have had their driver's license for a while. Um, but I also put a picture of a skidoo because skidoos and four wheelers are a big part of driving life as well. With any kind of driving, you can probably already think of all the things you should do and shouldn't do to stay safe. The next one we're looking at is dating. And it could have been dating and relationships because they kind of go together. With dating safety, like driving, there are rules of things that you should do and shouldn't do. And you probably have already heard a lot of these things that you should do or shouldn't do. Physical activity is a natural area to think about safety in because every kind of physical activity has uh, safety things that you should do in that activity to keep yourself from getting hurt. So it might be a sport where you wear some kind of safety gear or it could be a sport where you have specific stretches that you do or movements that you do before the activity just to keep from getting hurt. Work life might not be one that you usually think of when you think of safety. Like I'm a teacher, teaching seems pretty safe, but every kind of job has injuries that go along with that job. I'm not saying you're going to get hurt if you go to work, but there's things that you need to think about when it comes to safety. And that is in every job. Now, some jobs have higher risks than other jobs, but that just means that there's other things that you need to do to be safe in those jobs. And this is one that you've probably heard a lot about is online safety. So safety in your digital life. This one is becoming huge because digital life is such a big part of a lot of people's life in general. Um, I'm an online teacher, so I spend a lot of time on my computer, but even after work, I'm still on my phone, still doing things in my digital life. So it's important in every aspect of your life to think about how to be safe, which gets us to this word that we talked about at the, f at the start of this uh, video, and that's culture. So what is culture of safety? Well, when you get to the point where you and the people around you start thinking about safety in every aspect of your life, so whenever you do something, you think, how can I do this safely? Then you have started to build a culture of safety. So you're part of a group of people that think about safety in everything that you do.